consider a pulley rotating in the anti clockwise direction. Suppose two masses, a capital M, mass of capital M, and a mass of small letter M are hanged on either side of the pulley using a using a rope like this. Let M greater than M. That is the mass of mass in the left portion will be greater than let, let us assume the mass on the left side is greater than that on the right side. So definitely the acceleration will be in this direction. That is the, this heavier mass will come down and the smaller mass, mass will go up. So the tension will always be in, in a direction towards the pulley. So consider the free body diagram of the we, we have to take the separate cases first i am taking the free body diagram of small mass that is small letter m the tension is in this direction we call that as t and the weight is always weight always acts downward and its value will be m times g and since the mass is going upward the acceleration is a in the upward direction so the unbalanced force unbalanced force for the smaller mass will be since the since the mass is moving upward this t will be greater than mg so unbalanced force is equal to upward force t minus mg but we know the unbalanced force will always be that is t minus mg is equal to unbalanced force will always be according to newton's law mass times acceleration that is ma call that as equation number one similarly let's take the free body diagram of the heavier mass that is here we take the bigger mass m we have tension in the upward direction and the weight in the downward direction mg and acceleration downward since the weight is moving downward so the unbalanced force in here is equal to unbalanced force for the heavier mass will be equal to since mg is greater than t since it is moving downward we have to write mg minus t but again according to newton's law the unbalanced force will be acts mass times acceleration that is mg minus t equal to here the mass is capital m a let's call that as equation number two so if you add equation one and two that is this equation when added with this one on the left side it will be t minus mg plus mg minus t is equal to m a plus m a i'll write in here that is you can cancel this t and this t this will be write the mg first mg minus small letter mg is equal to this will be you can take the a constant a into m plus m so the equation will be a is equal to a is equal to you can take the g outside therefore m minus m into g divided by small letter m plus m or capital m plus m both are correct so this is the expression for acceleration acceleration will be difference of mass times gravity by sum of the masses now in order to find the t you have to substitute the equation this one in the second equation clear so what you get so substituting substituting a value of a in equation 2 you will get mg 
minus t is equal to m into instead of a you can write m minus m g divided by m plus m now we need to simplify this equation in order to get the t so this will be so mg minus t is equal to m into this is equal to mg minus mg divided by m plus m so if you take that is if you take this term to the left so mg minus m into we can multiply this is equal to m square g now i'll write in here mg minus t is equal to this will be m square g minus m m g divided by m plus m clear now you can multiply you can take this to the left so mg minus t into m plus m is equal to m square g minus m m g so this will be m square g minus m times t plus m m g minus m t is equal to m square g minus m m g clear so this can be, you can cancel this m square g and this m square g so uh, if you take this to the left side so m m g plus m m g is equal to these two terms to the right that is m t plus m small letter m times t this will be 2 m m g equal to t into m plus m so the tension in the string or tension in the rope will be t is equal to t is equal to 2 m m g divided by m plus m so this is the expression for tension in the string or tension in the room. Okay.